Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part three, the final part for today or tonight. And I'm gonna finish up with um, some Asian news and then I'll go into um, kind of the uh, war on uh, liberty or freedom here at home in the United States. Um, so the first one I have up here is Israel rounds up African migrants for deportation. This is actually supposed to be at the end of the last video, but either way, Israel said on Monday it had started rounding up African migrants in the first stage of a controversial emergency plan to intern and deport thousands of deemed thousands deemed a threat to the Jewish character of the state. This is the same. Um, well, it's the same story basically with the what is it? MP or MEP or MEK, whatever, in Israel, the woman, the female that said that they're a cancer of their society, a cancer in their society, so now they're going to deport them. You know, imagine, uh, can you imagine uh, people in the United States uh, doing that, you know, uh, deporting, uh, you know, Mexicans and stuff like that, or just basically immigrants um, from other countries? I mean, it wouldn't happen. It was all about tolerance, right? It's all about tolerance. So it says here, UN Security Council threatens sanctions on anyone who disrupts Yemeni government. I've covered this as well. Uh, this has to do with Obama's executive order on Yemen. It says here, it warns against spoilers of Yemen's single candidate democracy. So it says here that the resolution endorses the single candidate election that installed the U.S.-backed Major General and Yemen says following the footsteps of the executive decision by President Obama worded almost the exact same way the Security Council resolu resolution sorry, threatens sanctions against anyone who does anything to undermine the Yemeni democracy. So then we have democracy without dissent. Obama issues draconian executive order to silence opponents of Yemen's leader. So, and this is going to play into this article that I'm coming up to. U.S. drone strike kills nine in Yemen. It says here, through support of a violent state and its own drone war, Washington may be laying the groundwork for blowback in Yemen. So it says here that they were al-Qaeda militants. And remember, in the definition of militants is any uh, young man could be a possible uh, al-Qaeda or militant, right? So... A terrorist, basically. A survey, U.S. drone program unpopular overseas. So it says here, the Obama regime's increasing use of drone strikes to kill suspected uh, militants is widely opposed around the world, according to a Pew Research Center on the U.S. image abroad. So they better be careful, right? They better be careful because uh, they could be undermining democracy in Yemen if they think that it's unpopular. Hmm. That's why there's a poll from February 2012 saying that the Americans approve of targeted killings of American terror suspects. Well, I would hope so because they had already killed an American uh, terror suspect that was actually from Yemen. So that was the litmus test to see what would happen. So the Pentagon's last frontier battle-hardened troops headed to Africa. That's right. And it says here that they're hard heading to all different parts of Africa. And you can check that out. It's followed by 3,000 soldiers to serve in... Man, is that annoying. 3,000 soldiers to serve in Africa next year. Oh, yeah, and for, you know, people say, get your pop-up blocker. There's Ad Block Plus. It's set up right there. So it says here, Brigade will deploy to Africa next year in a pilot program and assigns brigades on a rotational basis to regions around the globe, says the Army. It says here they will be training foreign militaries and aiding locals. It says here that the soldiers will live and work among Africans in safe communities approved by the U.S. government. It says tours could last a few weeks or a few months. So, and uh, moving on here, we have next SCO or the Shanghai Cooperation uh, Organization, I think it's called. Uh, it says here its focus is a multipolar world shifting to the east. So the number of SCO partners are growing says it's necessary to mention the Declaration on Missile Defense as one of the most important documents adopted at the summit most recently. I think they had a training exercise. Actually, I know they did. They had a training exercise as well, the SCO forces. China announces how it would go to war against the U.S. fleet. The U.S. has made no secret that it's pulling its focus from the Middle East and directing military attention to the Pacific, and now China is pushing back. The Economic Times reported China is increasing its conventional missile capability to carry out multiple launches that uh, the one tactic that could overwhelm a Navy ship's defenses and cripple its abilities. 
Then we have Chinese military conducts North Korea destabilization drill. More than 100 Chinese troops took part in a exercise on the Yulu River border with North Korea on Tuesday, renewing speculation that Chinese military is preparing to defend against any influx of North Korean refugees following possible regime collapse in Pyongyang. Then this is followed by U.S. military in South Korea seeks more weaponry and uh, says here that they've asked the Pentagon to provide more attack helicopters and strengthen missile defense systems, as chief said Tuesday, amid threats by North Korea against the South. Then we have U.S. trains as guns in China. U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta says the major portion of the U.S. naval power will shift to the Pacific by 2020 as part of a Pentagon's new Pivot to Asia, Pivot to Asia strategy. The Marine Corps, with its own air wing, will increase its presence in the Pacific theater. Let's not forget the 2,500-manned U.S. military expeditionary force that's being stationed in remote northern Australia, or the possibility of Marines leaving all of those bases in Japan and going to Australia. So it says here, the real reason for America's Southeast Asian projection, radiation of northern hemisphere. That's right, the real reason for America's Southeast Asian projection. It says here that WMR has learned... I think this is Wayne Matson report has learned that the continued high radiation affecting the northern hemisphere is a result of life-threatening radiation continuing to be dispersed in the atmosphere from the meltdown reactor 4 at Fukushima. It says here in Japan, the Pentagon wants to preserve most of its military forces and to ensure the protection for American elites who have plans to move to the southern hemisphere, particularly to the Southeast Asian region, to escape the effects of the radiation circulating around the northern hemisphere. So it says here that the U.S. is planning to shift a bulk of the U.S. Air Force to the southern portion of the Asia-Pacific region. And it says now that Myanmar is open to the west, uh, thanks to the back puppet there, uh, that woman man, whatever she's called, um, educated in what uh, in London and that. So now they'll be able to go in there. It says that the United States is eyeing bases in that country. And it goes on and says that... Uh, that also Canada has announced plans to shift a large portion of its Navy and air and ground forces to the Southeast Asia region. So this is interesting, guys. Uh, this could just be disinfo coming from Wayne Matson. I think he's former NSA. It says here, our sources have indicated that confronting China's growing military presence in the region is merely a cover story designed to mask the abandonment of Northern Hemisphere by the Pentagon. In fact, the Chinese defense officials participated in the Shangri-La dialogue. So. Uh, what about Africa, too, right? Wouldn't that kind of uh, uh, play into that, too? If they're just going to be permanently putting those guys over there? It says here that uh, the way Matson Report has learned that a recent agreement between uh, the U.S. and basically NASA and Thailand to establish an atmospheric testing facility is part of the Pentagon's evacuation plans. NASA is being used as a civilian cover by the Pentagon. So it says here uh, Australia is a temporary safe haven as a result of a nuclear war. It says here that uh, killed off a lot of life in the Northern Hemisphere. Israel is reportedly buying a property in India and Uganda to shelter millions of Jews from Israel, North America, and Europe to escape the effects of the life-threatening radiation in the Northern Hemisphere. Self-defeating mercenaries and foreign troops could fight for UK as 20,000 British soldiers face the axe. So, then we have study says 13,000 deployed Marines considered suicide. More than 1 in 10 Marines who deployed overseas reported having suicidal thoughts or plans to attempt who off themselves or punch out early, as I put it. More U.S. military suicides than combat deaths in 2012. I actually heard this from my mother. I, I was like, wow, right? More U.S. military suicides than combat deaths in 2012. So that's why they want to go to the cyborgs and all that, right? So it's here, travel warning for Mexico, possible violent retaliation against American travelers to Mexico over the arrest of alleged Zeta's car, drug cartel associates. So... This is, this is coming from the same countries that want to basically legalize marijuana and all that, right? They want to legalize the drug trade so they get rid of these drug cartels that actually are the Mexican government. So you have a 24-year-old um, getting three life sentences for witnessing a drug deal. Now, this is actually, what, almost 20 years ago? So, but this is just from witnessing a drug deal. So, you know, and the first thing I thought was I witness drug deals all the time. Just go to CVS. Just go to Walgreens. Just go to your local supermarket that has their own little... Um, drug cartels uh, in there as well and you'll see people go up and they'll put this they'll put slip this little piece of paper from their drug dealer their doctor over the counter and they do it right there right in the in daylight right and um, and they get their drugs and they go about their way but I haven't gotten arrested yet um, while witnessing those drug deals take place 
just because, well, the cartels are protect, protected by the government and the FDA. So it says here, spring, just like the drug cartels are protected by the Mexican government, which are basically drug cartels. So we have here, Springdale police stopped the cash for tickets practice. Utah state auditors have told police uh, in the Zion or Zion National Park to stop taking cash fines from foreign tourists stopping for traffic violations. So this is a similar story to what a man carrying twenty-two thousand dollars in cash to buy a car has his money taken by police because, as stated by the officer, that much money should be in a bank and not in cash, as he could not prove what it was for. So just like in Greece, the police telling the Greeks, "Hey, you, you better keep your money in the bank, right? Keep it safe." Keep it safe from the cops who want to steal it from you. Climate skeptic instructor fired from Oregon State University. So it's all about peer review, right? No, it's about if you don't have the right conclusion, if you don't come to the right conclusion, you're gone, right? You gone. So where no city has gone before, San Francisco will be the world's first zero waste town by 2020. So a future without landfill. Sounds great and everything, right? Well, we know that's the land of Nancy Pelosi and they're a bunch of Nazis. Not Nazis, but they're a bunch of just assholes, right? They're a bunch of eco-terrorists. And um, they're going to be the template for the rest of the country. So Miami Beach passes recycling ordinance. So this is, first it's voluntary, right, by a bunch of liberal douchebags. And then what? And then it becomes mandatory. People who live in the city of Miami Beach must soon recycle or possibly face fines of up to $350 for the first time, $500 for the second, and $1,000 for the third violation. Killings by police in L.A. County jumped sharply, sharply. Local law enforcement officers fatally shot 54 people last year, nearly 70% more than the year before. And they're always worried about being more protected. They don't feel safe enough ever, do they? Study finds stand your ground law increases murder rates. So I wonder if the police are doing that. They're standing their ground. This is actually what I saw at the, at the heart of the whole Trayvon case was, was what? Was this, which was this uh, kind of this... A community watch and stand your ground law being attacked and gun rights being attacked that was the big thing about it besides sparking a race war here around election time uh time perfectly you know u.s cops taser eight month pregnant black woman for parking dispute maybe she didn't pay uh the cash on the spot right then we have lawrence case raises questions about guns in dorms it has been several weeks since a gun was found in the university of kansas dorm room <gasps> And even though it violated state law, the student still hasn't been charged. Hmm. Universities in Texas are uh, basically mulling to allow students to carry guns on campus to protect themselves because we all know campus police will not be there. All those little blue boxes right in the middle of the night to protect you. You know, protect yourself against these uh, mind-controlled uh, little patsies coming out of Virginia Tech and that, like that individual. Smart meters are a massive surveillance Texas privacy supremo. You're the European Data Protection Supervisor has warned that smart meters are a significant privacy threat and wants limits on retention and the use of customer data before it's too late. And of course, these things I think are going to be used for health reasons too, along with all those cell and Wi-Fi satellite transmission from the towers. Um, you're going to have these things linked up to your home. So talking about radio frequencies. Then you got these guys. Marquette University study shows radiation from airport scanners extend into organs. So. The study concludes that the radiation dose from a full-body backscatter x-ray in airports extends to organs beyond the skin, but is still lower than health standards. From June 9th, the internet is buzzing over presumed radiation spike due to unexplained occurrence that is happening a few days ago near the Indiana-Michigan borders. Well, let's see what the internet conspiracy theorists found. Well, it says here in Michigan, reactor shut down after leak, so it didn't happen, but it did happen. That's right. A power, nuclear power plant in Michigan on Tuesday was closed due to a leakage from a refueling water tank. So there you go. So, you know, this is just messed up. That's right around my neck of the woods. I never heard about it or anything. Zombie bullets. U.S. ammo producers cash in on zombie apocalypse fears. I think so. remember about Russia announcing a, a weapon that they had uh, basically to turn people into zombies. I heard about this from a relative. They actually have these things, a zombie-infested 5K, five, uh, basically three-mile obstacle course race. That's right. And it's coming to my neck of the woods. Hmm. Kind of scary. And during my little hiatus, I went into the video store after not going for almost five years at least. And oh my God, I never thought I'd see so many zombie movies, alien movies, um, basically people turned into dead people, uh, apocalyptic where you gotta kill everybody to survive. I mean, it was just god awful. It was, it was everywhere. Another vampire skeleton unearthed in Bulgaria. And get this, guys, a former Ministry of Defense 
UFO expert says to look in the skies at the Olympic Games for a possible alien encounter or attack. Hmm. 